So, hello everyone. In this particular session, we are going to demonstrate the hands-on session. How can we make the forecasting by using time series analysis with the help of SPSS software? So, we have uh, we have a particular disk data set on uh, wastewater generation. So, this data has been taken from the legal board, which is obtained from Economic Survey 2019-20. It is prepared by government of Delhi. So in this data here, you can see that uh, we have a data from 2004 to six. We have three years data in our hand. And this data is particularly for the total water demand, total water supply, wastewater generation, and other components. So we, uh, we can make forecasting for each individual uh, you know, details. Like we can make forecasting for total water demand. What is the like, forecasting for the water supply? wastewater generation. Okay, so on the basis of these three years data, we can make forecasting for upcoming years. Okay, so we are going, in this particular session, we are going to make forecasting for the wastewater generation. Similarly, you can make the forecasting for others. So uh, before going to forecasting and so on session on SPSS, I just want to mention one thing that uh, this particular time series analysis package is given only in SPSS 25 version. So if you want to make the forecasting by using time series, then you need SPSS 25 version, okay? So either you can take a license or you can install a you know, trial version. So uh, let's see how it can be done by in SPSS. So, Okay, so it is a SPSS window. This is SPSS 25. And here we have two things, data view and, sorry, variable view and data view. So in variable view, we just enter the detail about the variables. So we have, here we have two variables, year and volumes. Okay, so in, in data view, this we have a data of these three years. 2004 to 6. Okay. And on the basis of these three years data, we want to make forecasting or prediction from 2007 to 15. Okay. So before going for forecasting, we just want to uh, get some idea what is the present trend of this uh, wastewater generation on the basis of this three years data. So for that, uh, we will just go to graph. We will make a, how can we get the idea? We can get the idea about trend by using the simple line diagram. Okay, so for graph line diagram, we just go to the graph chart builder. Then we go for this. This uh, chart uh, builder session will be appear. So here in galleries, there are different charts are available. Favorite like bar, line, area, pi, and so so here. We just want to simple line diagram, so it will appear. Just click on the simple and just take it here from and drag and go to the this box. Drag from here and go to this box. Now you have to define that on x axis and y axis. So as you all know that uh, generally year or time is taken on the x axis and dependent variable is taken on the y axis. So we have defined the x and y axis. Now click OK. So now this SPSS output sheet, there is a line diagram will appear. And by using this line diagram, we can guess an idea that what is the present trend of this wastewater generation. So here, you can see that this wastewater generation on the basis of these three years, we can say that it has a increasing trend. So this was a idea about the wastewater generation, trend of wastewater generation. Now we go to our forecasting. So for the forecasting, as you all know that in SPSS window, all the statistical techniques are available, tools are available in the analyze section. So we just go to analyze, then go to forecasting in the, just, just after the 
non parametric test there is a forecasting okay so we just go to forecasting and in forecasting there are different methods so we just go to the second one create traditional models so click on that so whenever you click on the traditional model so since you all know that uh, this particular time series modeler package has been developed for the time series analysis for, and uh, you know and it is common for all the type of data it means it is same for all type of data whether your data is uh, yearly data monthly data day wise data weekly data hourly data minute wise data so it is common for all so before going to forecasting we just define date and time of your data okay what is the type of your data whether it is monthly yearly weekly or day wise so we just define date and time so click on that so similarly we have to define date and time so in cases are since our cases are in years okay so we just click on the years and here we just put the first case is it means what is the first entry what is the first year in our data so we have 2004 first year so just click on okay so in the output table you will find that this year data you has been created this is the yearly data now your data is ready for the forecasting purpose okay so first we go to the trend line and then again define the data and now finally we go for the forecasting so for forecasting we go to the analyze then forecasting then create traditional models so these is the steps analyze forecasting create traditional models so just click on that so now this time series modeler will this dialog box will appear so on this we have different sections like variables statistics plots output file filter save and options so first section we have to define the variables so variables what is dependent variable we have to define the dependent and independent variables so what is the dependent variable in your data that is volumes of waste water generation this is a dependent variable and of course year will be independent variable okay so in this way we have defined the dependent and independent variables similarly we go for the other section that is statistics it shows which type of statistics you want so since we are creating a model we are using a model for the time series or forecasting then we need goodness of fit and stationary r square it means these two things will provide how good your model is for this forecasting so it will tell about the information about the model so again so it is already ticked so we need not uh, do anything so in the plots plots means which particular graph you want to show in your analysis so similarly since we are working uh, since we are going to for the time series data so we need only plots regarding the series time series so we need observed we need a diagram which shows the observed values observed values means given values so given values and forecast values so we need a diagram where observed values and forecast values will be given together okay so we don't need to do anything now output filter you do nothing then go to save it is a very important you know component so here what variables you want you just click on that so predicted values definitely we know that we want to know that lower confidence of limit of this predicted values upper confidence limit of this predicted values okay so predicted values means forecasted values forecasted values from 2007 onwards so now we just click on these three then go to options you don't need to do anything and then just click on okay okay so after okay here you will get the output of your data it means your analysis part so this time series modeler is a package for the time series analysis in spss 25 this is the model description that with particular 
model you are using that is called it is a already inbuilt model and this is the model summary model summary means it is a description about the model which you are using so we are not very much interested in that and the model statistics we are not also very much interested we are interested only in this the particular diagram okay so this diagram has the observed values and the forecast values according to the particular time period okay it means on the x axis we are data years 2004 to 2015 and these are the values okay so since in this red line this is the observed values it means 2004 to 6 this is the observed values and from 2007 to onwards 2015 we have forecast values okay so so both things are given here now if you want to change anything in your this particular graph then you just click double click on this diagram and then date this x axis so it just to want to make change in the x and y axis so this is the year and uh, yeah so in the y axis you need volumes okay just so now here you can see that year in the x axis you have years and in y axis we have numbers or volumes volumes of wastewater generation so so we can change like that so now the most important thing is where are the values where are the forecast values from 2007 to 2015 okay so now for that we go to the spss input sheet this one this is the way data view now you can see that earlier initially we have two columns only year and volumes okay 2004 to 6 this data but now you can see that there is a some additional columns has been created after the analysis so you know these year and data these two columns have been generated whenever we define our date and time okay and after that this is the most important column because it provides the predicted values so we have the three initially we have three values only from 2004 to 6 but now you can see that from 2007 to 15 all the values are given here so it means on the basis of these three values you can make the forecasting about from 2007 to 15 for the future values and these are the predicted values for the so since it is a given values and this is the predicted values so similarly it provide the predicted values for already given values as well as for the those values which are not given to us and this lower control confidence and upper control lcl and ucl these are nothing but uh, lower control limit and upper confidence limits it means this is the minimum value of this predicted value and this is the maximum value of predicted value okay so this time series analysis will provide the predicted values as well as their minimum and maximum value of the predicted values so in this way you can make the forecasting for uh, waste water generation for 2007 to 15 similarly you can also make uh, forecasting for uh, total demand water demand total water supply or anything suppose uh, you want to make what will the possible covid cases on the basis of last one year to the next one year so you can also make the prediction of forecasting of anything okay by using this particular method so i hope you have enjoyed this session thank you thank you so much